We're moving towards colder weather around here. We've had a light frost, nothing too intense, but enough to help the plants start to go dormant. And so our focus, our attention, our work for the last little bit and onward will be about digging up dormant plants. There are some areas where you can see things are just getting started. Here we dug up a bunch of mint root and some other perennial high value nursery plants and started the process of consolidating them into uh, herbaceous perennial crates that'll be buried in soil. We've started accumulating some of the perennial woody plants, like for example here, uh, peach cap, black cap raspberry, there's some apricots, there's some peaches, and some elderberries. So we're getting these plants lifted from their nursery beds, from their air prune boxes, and back into the earth. And we're doing this work with the intention of having ample, beautiful plants to offer in the spring when we return to our normal sales window. But we're realizing we've got an absolute overflow of plants that are incredibly huge and beautiful and need to find homes. And so we've been consolidating those plants into these healed in beds uh, for local centered sales. And in the description, I'm going to go through and very, very thoroughly uh, break down what it is that we're offering here. But the gist of it will be to be for local folks to reach out instructions in the description if you're interested in things like pawpaws that have gotten so big they won't fit in a box these are going to be waking up into their third year of life it's kind of a mess of stems in here tons and tons of uh, beautiful beautiful pawpaws that we'd love to find homes for there's a bunch of peaches here these are first year seedlings but they managed to get four or five feet tall and everything's healed in in communal ways. There's actually a few hundred plants right in this one spot. In the front here, we have maybe upwards to 2,000 trees and shrubs that are healed in. There's peaches, there are black walnuts, there's chestnuts, Japanese walnut, heartnut, Ashworth burr oak, upwards to a thousand plus hazelnuts, there's English walnut, there's apricots, there's a bunch of sunchokes. And all of these need to find homes the risk for us in keeping them all here over winter is that if we have voles or rabbits or other pressure like that, we can lose a lot. And, uh, but we don't have the bandwidth to do lots and lots of shipping this fall, and that's why we paused on taking orders that way. We do have the bandwidth to hand off bundles of trees to folks willing to come meet us where we are. As some examples, we've got these hazelnuts. They had two years in the field. Really nice, well-developed root systems. Pardon my camera work. I think we're asking $20 a piece for the bigger ones, but um, less is certainly an option. And the more folks want to get like 10 packs or 25 packs of some of these plants, the more of a discount we can offer. Some of the English walnuts that we have here, after two years of growing in the field, have gotten to be extremely thick. We dug down as deep as we could and got really beautiful root systems for them. All the trees were hand dug, they were grown um, in completely organic practices, healed in in thoughtful ways, and ready to find a new forever home. We really have a beautiful opportunity here, a window for folks in the Northeast, uh, where we have dormancy requirements met for most plants, but the ground is not very cold. It's not extremely cold and rainy yet, or snowy, so this is a great window to act. The description will have all the information you need if this is relevant to you or of interest. I really appreciate the patience for those of you that are further away. Uh, we absolutely plan to do full open shipping March 1st of 2024. Our inventory will be renewed online. And depending on how this sale goes for local people, if we still have an abundance of plants and the weather's mild, you can expect another video like this where I'll open this up. Maybe we can do a last hurrah shipping window this fall. We'll see. We'll plan to get back to some more usual content here. Again, some more update videos on things, some how-tos and sharing some propagation ideas. But I'm sure folks can understand or appreciate when we've got this many plants <laughs> healed into our landscape looking to find homes eventually. It's a high priority for us. We care about these plants immensely. And it is also how we make our living collectively. It feels like a very wonderful way to do so and we really appreciate all the interest folks have had to that end over the years.